We both have pinars. This doesn't work this way. But you're using your hand. Oh shit, I didn't see that coming. You can do that. That's totally fucking cool. You emailed me in 2002, remember? You emailed me in 2002. Yeah. That was it. Because I opened the original Trixie Torres forum in 2002, and you emailed me like a day or two. It was like either the day it opened or the day after. And that was like a new thing for me. I was like, oh, someone's emailing me. This is cool. You know what yeah. I mean? I would never had that before. Because yeah, I, I thought he was cool. He was doing cool shit. Then I was like, this is funny. Like I like this kind of shit. Then I was like, I'm gonna reach out. I was like, hey man, I don't, I don't remember what I said, but I probably said like, uh, that your shit was cool and that you were like funny and then ha ha ha. Or something. You describe your relationship together as a birth, which is me. <laughs> I was just, yeah, I was just saying nonsense, but yes, it was a birth, a birth of a new friendship. But what has this done for you since then, since the birth? How has it evolved? How has it grown up? Um, first, I came to, his, to your place for a month, right? No, no, that was so the first time he came for like a week. Yeah. Then it was a month. Yeah. And we got expired orange protein powder that gave us gas. Oh, for yeah. <laughs> Don't buy expired whey concentrate. That was funny. It was fucking bad. No, it wasn't. I th it was so bad I had to get up and leave the room. We were sleeping in. We were killing each other with gas. Yeah. Yeah. Probably put a hole in the fucking uh, sky. <laughs> yeah. so ozone layer. Ozone layer. Went to see him. We had a good time, did some videos, had some fun, we did training, and then I was like, this is cool, I want to do it again. The next, the next year we did the same thing, and then we, I did a bit of bodybuilding, and then I, we met again in 2013, and then I fell off the map a little bit, and now I'm back here. Yeah. Since my birth, I've been an ectomorph. I work out every day, and I can't gain weight. What should I do? So it's not, it's not too bad of a flight to come here though. No. So we've been online, well, no, we've been online friends for like uh, shit since 2002, 2017. 15 fucking years we've been online friends. We've met, it, met up maybe six times. Oh, yeah, you were the center of the universe. <laughs> yeah. 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 We yeah, lived yeah. in your mom's house for like a week. Yeah. You had some weird people in your house. So you're obviously your friendship means something to you. What did it mean back then versus what does it mean now? Pretty much the same thing. We just keep going through different life phases, I think. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's like I know that he's the kind of friend that even if sometimes we didn't talk for almost a year or something, I don't know, that um, I would catch up and it would be the same thing as when the first time I met him at 16 years old. Yeah. You know, it's just, a, it's just like that. And, um, but we keep going through our own shit that just keeps us from hooking up with one another and hanging out, you know? Yeah. We keep going through different things independently and just, you know, that's mm -hmm. why it's not like every other month we're seeing each other. It's like, God damn, it's been three years. Yeah. Four years now? Four years. Been four years now. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. No, dude, these guys helped us out because in our fucking comment section of all our videos, they're just bugging the shit out of us, asking each other. Yeah, but even if they when didn't... When are you going to get back with Antoine? When are you going to pick with yeah. Antoine? But it even, helped out. Yeah, but right? even it, yeah, it helped me. out, but even if we, they would have forgotten about us, I would have wanted to see you again. Yeah. Yes. Of course, Rex and Havoc. What supplement made you as big as you are, and where can I get it? Online. Never had animal protein, and well, what is a better way to not consume factory farming and be uh, an anabolic, disgusting creature like yourselves, or is veganism the only option? Uh, what do you hope to accomplish by the end of this year? I want to stay on track. What were your goals before, and do you want those same ones? I'd be curious. I think my goals before, I wanted to do like a pro show again and all those things, make some videos and deliver what the people want online and, and have some fun with it. But I was stuck with a, a problem uh, that kept me from doing that. So now my main goal is I know if I keep the problem at bay and if I, if I stay on track and focus, everything else will fall together with patience and uh, hard work and uh, making the right decisions. So now it's like, a, if I, as long as I, I stay off the, the mind-altering substances and alcohol, I know I can like, uh, accomplish great things. Because if I don't have that, every, anything I put over my recovery, I'm gonna lose it. Right. That's, how, that's how it works for me.
Last year I kind of figured this out. It's like I'm doing everything right. The thing that's going to make me not doing things right is to fuck it up. Yep. So it's like it, you get so good to the point where it's like as long as I don't fuck it up, it's going to work. Yeah. You know? I mean, when you get good at what you do, that's what happens. You just have to make sure you don't fuck up. But a lot of people do. A lot yeah. of people don't realize that they're at that point that it's just, they're just fucking good at what they do and it's just going to continue to work as long as they don't fuck up. So that's the goal at that point is just not, not, not screw up. Don't, mm-hmm. don't get addicted to really bad shit. Don't fucking uh, ruin your friendships. Don't fucking, uh, you know. Do illegal shit. Cut your arms off. Do, or do illegal like shit. Yeah, just don't fuck things up and it's going to work yeah. if you're don't good. Don't fucking eat animal protein. But I mean, you, you guys are talking about not looking at you, but life happens, right? Yeah, it happened hard for me. <laughs> well, so how do you how do you bounce back from that? Well, that there's a difference between life happening, life happening, and you happening. I, you there's a difference between life getting in your way. It's like fix that shit, and you fucking you self self sabotaging yourself. There's the difference. Yeah. As long as you're not the one doing the thing that's fucking you up, that's there's totally. At some point, you you just wake up and it's there though. So yeah. It's like it's part of life. Like okay, gotta deal with this now. But yeah. how do you stop fucking out? How do you stop throwing that rock? Oh, that's what we're trying to figure out, dude. No, I, yeah, that's me, the I, hard part. Yeah, I did uh, four rehabs. I do meetings every week. I uh, reach out to friends that are good for me, and I um, I always try to act with the with the, the right and the right the thing that my heart tells me, which is like some people say that it's like God's will, which is like the what would the most lovable person do, you know? And I try to act like that all the time. And I've always been a good guy, you know? But uh, I, I just did bad uh, mistakes. Follow my heart, I do the hard work to, uh, for recovery and, I, and the things I learned uh, by losing everything twice and, and suffering a lot and losing lots of things and, and doing four rehabs, I, I learned that uh, if, I do, if I just think about doing it again, it's stupid. And, it's like I know what's gonna happen. I mean, I mean, I mean, next few. Like, it's not like I'm, I'm I'm mild or moderate with anything I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd rather not do it than do it mild. A channel that extreme extremity somewhere else. Yeah, Fu- some of your fucking workouts were just like, mm-hmm. what the fuck was this dude? You channeled it there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta do that. Yeah, you see gotta, this guy on a leg extension machine. That'll scare the shit out of you. His that legs were cramping up so bad from the workout that he was in his kitchen my just quad screaming like at the top up, of his lungs. Going it was, his quad was moving up his entire leg. Because he screaming was, on the floor. Yeah, that's almost what, midnight. He had yeah, to go. That's the kind of fucking shit. Yeah. Well, extreme like that, it's good on some things, but it comes with like the other things, like it's not very good. It's uh, hard for me to find balance sometimes. But I think as I uh, get older and I get more experiences, I will uh, learn how to do it. I've been trying to balance yoga and mindfulness with weightlifting. I don't make any gains in either. Maybe you should Google it and you know, tell us an email. I don't use the internet. That's not I possible. Just don't think Boys. Maybe I should just get this PowerPoint out. Stop doing the vegan voice. I'll <laughs> show you guys. <laughs> Look at his face and his I leg. I know. <laughs> What's he doing with himself? Every athlete dies two deaths, right? Isn't that a saying? Yeah, athletes die twice. I heard that tonight. Yeah. yeah. After your first death, my yoga teacher said happen? that death is not a thing but a social construct. To move on to the next part of my life, like the, the, the Antoine that was partying and, and doing all the crazy stuff uh, with the party and the, the drinking and the, the substances and all the things like it was so that was my main thing for fun, that I was doing for fun for a, a long time and um, seeing the woman with that too so now I can I had to stop doing that so I had, I had to grieve a part of myself that I really loved some part of it so I had to, like it was the death of party Antoine that was dead, you know, most of it is dead and I had to grieve from it. That was kind of hard sometimes. I didn't want to, I went through the grieving process and sometimes it's like I miss, I miss the, that part, but I got accepted that it's dead, like a dead person. It seems like you grieve over something that you worked hard to achieve. It doesn't seem like that's something you 
you achieved or well, something let, 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 let's say let's say you let's did. say if somebody comes in your life and you really like that person yeah. you, you didn't work hard for it it was just there you just you it was there for a while yeah, but any relationship's good only uh, based on the fact of how hard you put effort into mm -hmm. it i did know? put a lot of effort in partying <laughs> <laughs> I did, that was the and the thing is, but for you me, can still dance. I can still dance. But well, I, see that shit matters. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the, the part that died is the the feeling of intensity that the the the, the drugs and all those things that gave me. Like it was crazy. Like and after a while after that, it was like nothing was fun. So I I was like grieving that part. Like now to have fun, I cannot do that anymore. Yeah. I gotta find something else. And it's like this part of me died, and I gotta grieve it. I gotta. And I, I even enrolled a letter in rehab. Like. Their drugs. No, 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 no. Like it was like a grieving letter, like uh, writing down to the. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. The death is ended, and now it's like a, I'm restarting. It's like a. I was like a phoenix, and then burning into fire, and then like all oh, ashes, like a little bird, born again through the ashes. And I'm like a little trippy, trippy bird, like uh, coming from the ashes, like dusting off the ashes, and uh, I have to relearn a lot of things too, like a toddler. I'm like a toddler sometimes. What are you relearning? Right now? Yeah. How to live again. Yeah. Like I go to bed late and I skip meals and I go on Facebook for too long and you know, shit, you, probably all you guys do, but I'm, I'm, I catch myself doing it, but I see myself doing it now. It's like, I see myself doing it and because I'm observing it and I see it, I can actually like, um, I'm more aware of it. I'm aware, I'm, I'm aware of a lot of everything now. Cause I, I just stop and, and watch and listen what's going on inside me, to what's going on around me, I observe. And uh, with that, I can see my behavior sometimes are not the best, but sometimes I still do it. But because now I, I see it with patience and time and doing the, the right things, I'm gonna get rid of the bad habits and replace them with good ones. Rabbit, rabbit habits rabbit. are really, yeah. Huh? No, rabbit habits. Rabbit you habits. can make that rabbit a habit. Hmm. I've been rubbing creatine on my legs after every arm workout and my back isn't growing. And grieve. Oh, oh, no, I forgot to take that scoop of creatine. There goes my entire athletic career. We both have pinars. This doesn't work this way. But you're using your hands. Ha 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 ha. La 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 Boing. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. What are you looking at? Stop the stuff everywhere. Fuck it, yeah, I know. Nuclear oh. oyster. Nuclear oyster. <laughs> What's he doing? He's quarter squatting. <laughs> He's fucking quarter squatting, dude. You see his toes are moving when doing it. God damn it! Great. Do the double swing. Here, fucker. That shit's manly for you. Just a vegan shoe. Shut the fucking shoe. It's made of leather.